Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Iyer. Hypersonic missile technology. What exactly is hypersonic missile technology? There has been a lot of buzz with the defection of a hypersonic missile engineer from China via UK into the United States. Evidently, MI6 and CIA were closely inspiriting him, his wife, and his uh, child into the United States. The person has been also vetted to make sure that he is not a Chinese plant, that he was genuine, that he had information that would help the United States. Now, the other interesting thing is the United States thinks that it is behind this technology, hypersonic technology, behind Russia and China. It is believed that Russia is ahead of China even because Russia has tested it in air, uh, water, and uh, on the uh, on the ground so they have tested all three different surfaces so that's why russia is considered better but just let's take a step back and understand what is hypersonic it is something to do with sound yes that's understandable hypersonic is something that means that an object is traveling at five times the speed of sound so once something of that speed happens the reaction time is awfully low which is what makes this weapon extremely dangerous now china claims that it has developed a way to even have nuclear missiles on that and they say that they have tested this um, in july and in august july 27th last year and august 13th of last year and United States also agrees that they did test it and that they missed their target by about 30 kilometers, give or take some. So they didn't exactly make it. And, and China also knows what was the reason why they missed it. And they missed it because, you know, these things are launched from outside the atmosphere of the Earth, from low orbit satellites. So when the missile enters the atmosphere, there is a lot of heat generated and it is possible that there may have been some distortions which caused it to lose the uh, track of the destination and land a little bit close, close by, not exactly on target. Close enough, fair enough. But in comparison, how is the United States technology? How far behind is the United States and what is the impact of this defector? Because clearly he has some plans and, and with, with those plans already being in the hands of the enemy, which is in, for China, it is the United States, China would want to try and design out what he may have carried with him so that they can render whatever intelligence that he gives ineffective. And it is believed that it will take two years before China can completely take out the data that they lost through this defector. Now, what exactly is going on with the United States? United States also has hypersonic missile technology. In fact, they call theirs as hypersonic air breathing weapon concept, HAWC. They have been testing this. However, they think that this may not be as advanced as China and Russia is. But they're paying a little bit of catch up. However, the more important thing that needs to be kept in mind is how China has strategized this in their four-pronged approach. What that four-pronged approach is, I'll just give you a quick summary, but the main details are in the video that I released today along with Elmer Yuan. The four things that China is relying on, they are relying on hypersonic missile technology, they are relying on 5G technology, they are relying on the fact that they have laid down fiber to all corners of the world, which means they don't need to be able to uh, use satellites to communicate between um, the missile and uh, um, the ground. So they can use fiber and therefore from the fiber, they can go without anybody else knowing. So the, the fourth one that escapes me right now, you can go look at that video to find out. Does US have a similar strategy where they have, this is how we are going 
to tackle any kind of incursion, whether it is from Russia or from China. We don't know. The United States is keeping its cards close to its chest. But we do know that for the first time in perhaps many, many years, the United States is feeling the heat that it needs to play catch up. For the longest time, US was the, you know, far and away the most technically advanced uh, defense uh, country, uh, country with the best, uh, most state-of-the-art technology as far as this defense was concerned. And now it seems to think that it needs to play catch up. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe this video and also do click on the bell button and consider joining the membership. The membership is not enabled at this time, but we are hoping that we will be able to do that because all these videos take a fair amount of time to research and give you all the relevant data. In fact, in this video, if you go and look at the show more section, you'll see a bunch of links which will add more information to those of you who want to delve deeper in this subject. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.